Okay, I got my paper towel here plugs in and we're going to take a few shots with the 300 at a thousand yards. That's a thousand yard target out there. So we'll see what happens here. I've never shot that far in my life. You some more paper towel? Oh, yeah. So you're going to aim. The wind's blowing right down the field, right? Pretty much. A little bit. It's actually a little bit right to left. Let's say it's blowing about right I there think so. now. You're going to aim at the top red dot. I'm going to aim the top dot with the number 10. Right? You said number 10? Yeah, let me double check our range. It should drop 351 inches. 351 inches of drop. Okay. 98.4 clicks. <laughs> Is that the hit? Did you hear that? I hear it. Did you Did hear you, it? It was like a 20-second delay. Yeah, like Holy. Five. One more time. Holy. It would take the, what? The time of, I would say three. I'd yeah, say you're right. Seconds. The time of flight is 1.68 seconds. Hear it back right now, yeah. Almost, something like that. Yeah. Those three to four seconds. You zoom in. So you can one see the sprinters. Maybe. Look at this. Just... Look right here. One, two, three. It didn't go through though. Yeah, yeah, it did. I can see through it. But there's yeah. nothing there. I don't. I I know that one is. You can see the splinters. Well, what? So I guess it's three sheets of plywood, but I was aiming at that top circle. You can see there's two circles. I hit the bottom one. Like I said, that's a thousand yards. That's the first time I ever shot a thousand yards for my life. And uh, we can see for sure that there's one, right? That's pretty cool. Holy shit. Bounced out. That's why we don't see it on the backside. So I did hit it, it bounced out? That's yeah, so one went through. That's the boy. And the other one went out. Because we only have one on the back side of here. Oh my god. <laughs> that is pretty much the coolest thing I've ever seen. Wait, this is so we can confirm. There it is. There's the bullet. There's the second bullet. Yeah, we're going to have to take a look here at this thing and see if we can see. Because... This bullet was laying directly under it, so my windage was on. My elevation, I was off just a, just a little bit. You can see there's stuff inside of the hollow point. You can see stuff in there. It's like green. It's. Uh, I think so. Okay, y'all ready? Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. All right, here we go. Four seconds. All right, number two. All ready? Yep. Ben's up now, and uh, all I use for a cheek ray, uh, riser is a, sp a swimming pool noodle, electrical taped on there. You can see I had to cut it out for clearance. Caldwell bipod and a whip machine clamp on muzzle brake. That's all I have. Oh, this is what we're shooting right here. These are 300 wind mag, of course. It's a 165 grain boat tail hollow point. These are old bullets. These are the bullets that we found, or we didn't find, but they're probably at least 20 years old. Maybe even older than that. Um, 
they were in the reloading stuff that I inherited, I guess. So we decided to make some loads with them. Yeah. And I took these to the range in that last video of mine. You saw where it shot good at 100 yards. So these are 165 grain boat tail hollow point series with 79 grains of RL22. I heard it. Did you hear it? Yep. It just wasn't as loud. Yep. Fighting the dog. Man, that's a loud hit. All right, here it is. Bullseye, thousand yards. You guys saw it beforehand, what the plywood looked like. Uh, yeah, there's three of them right there. There's three. There's the bullseye, number four. Uh, we have two more that we need to find. Uh, I wonder if this is one here. Yeah, there's one there. That hit pretty low. And here's number six. There's number one. Here's number one. Two, three, four, five, six. And like I said, guys, this is just a TC venture. I haven't done anything to this thing at all except I uh, worked on the trigger. Here's one of the bullets Ben brought me. I found all six holes, Ben. Oh, really? Yeah. One, two, three. Four, five, and then six. It hit over here on the side. Oh, okay. But here it is. TC Venture. It's got the, uh, I don't even know what you call this barrel here. It's like, it's not like a varmint barrel. It's not, it's kind of heavier than an average. But uh, I haven't done anything except I, I did tweak the trigger. Um, uh, you can go in my last in one of my videos where it shows the TC Venture trigger job and I adjusted the creep, took the creep out of it and I also took a, one um, loop out of the coil, out of the spring. That's all I did. SWFA scope, $300 scope. I got a whip machine muzzle brake on there, 100 bucks. And Justin just found two more bullets. Right there. All right, guys. Well, that's it with the 1,000-yard shooting. It's the first time I ever shot that far in my life. Yeah, it can be done. It's not as hard as you think. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And uh, be sure to subscribe for more. We'll see you later.